What's up, guys? Your boy Taco Max, and today I'll be reviewing Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. And where do I start? Um, huge Borderlands fan since 2009. I love the looting system. I love all the different weapons you can find. Like even today, I'm still finding weapons from Borderlands One. <laughs> um, this game is loads of fun. Um, you you have like a bunch of different ways to kill monsters. You have a melee weapon. You have uh, you have like your regular alien guns, you have like spells. Like for example, for me, I've played as the spell shot class and there's a way that, uh, there's actually a way that you can like use two different spells from both hands. So imagine two spells in both hands and your guns and your melee weapon is, is pretty sick. It's definitely more of an open world field and you know, like me, I love open world games and like, just the freedom to do whatever the heck you want is just it just makes this game so much fun you know if i want to go to to uh to shallows i can go to shallows if i want to go to um the overall i can go to the overall you know i can go upgrade my my weapons i can upgrade my slots for my my capacity you know it's just it's just so cool to have the freedom to do whatever you want you know this is what we want as gamers like you know the freedom to do these things the game is very generous. Even when you're just standing around, you're still getting experience, you're still getting loot. You know, like sometimes you just randomly get like plus 10,000 experience. You're like, where did this come from? <laughs> so the game is very rewarding. It rewards you for your hard work and it's just. He just likes to cater to the fans, uh, Gearbox, you know? This game is loading loads of fun. Um, there's been a lot of backlash about the DLC content, but doing through the base game is like it's just so much fun. It's like your side quests, there's um there's like even after you've maxed out your regular leveling, there's a myth rank uh system where you can like more focused on like your your stats per se, like your strength, your HP and all that stuff. So I love this game because um I love the fact that it's an RPG, but it still has Borderlands elements. It's heavily inspired by Diablo, Diablo 3, if you guys know. Um, basically, the color of the item, it shows how rare the item is. So if it's like like, a, like white or green or like the lowest colors, like the highest is probably like a gold or like a legendary weapon. So legendary is like gold. So it's pretty sick. Um... Like I've played this game for hours and hours and hours and hours and um I haven't been bored not once. It's funny. Um the comedy is great. The story, let's be honest, the story is not <laughs> it doesn't really make much sense, but it's just about, you know, a young girl and she's just basically making things along as uh you play through the game. It's like a Dungeons and Dragons, so Despite the the wacky story, you know, you just want to play a game for fun. Like as as a gamer, we don't want to find good stories and good content, but the fun factor, you know, like I just love to have fun. I mean, everyone loves fun. <laughs> but um, I think like I give this game a nine point seven out of ten. Like I really like this game a lot. It's one of my favorite games throughout. You know, between the end of twenty twenty one and you know, throughout 2022, uh, Gearbox just announced that they're going to be having it as a franchise. So, congrats for Tiny Tina. <laughs> so, I'm just excited about that. It's going to be a franchise and uh, part two is going to be coming eventually. Um, The DLC thing, like, yes, it gets, you know, a little repetitive. We're so used to Borderlands giving us, like, almost like a full game's worth of content in a DLC, so I get it. You know, we're all angry about it, but for what it's worth, it's a fun game. It still has its elements. Um and it's just cool to have like a female main character, like a female main uh a female narr narrator. So it's really, really cool. Um yeah, so that's my review and please like, comment, subscribe and it's your boy Taco Max.